Welcome to Diabetes Technology Report for March. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world in last month. And this includes Sonovo is dead. Production discontinued. All existing Sonovo pump users are transitioning to alternative care. More information about this incredibly sad news is coming up in just a second. OneDrop announced partnership with Amazon's Choice. Looks like US might have a new patch pump on the market soon called EOFlow. Also, Bigfoot announced names for the pump and pen systems. This and so much more is coming your way. Diabetes technology. Artificial pancreas. Implantable CGMs. Insulin pens. systems. We are not waiting. Let's start with incredibly sad news about Sonovo. It's always really, really sad to see a pump company go out of business. Um, we have less choice when we have to pick up pumps. And um, especially a company like Sonovo because um, they sell a patch pump. And choice in a patch pump space is very, very limited. So it's really sad. So Sonovo pump in all markets is no longer available for patients with immediate effect. Also, two days after going into an administration, Sonovo announced that they stopped all manufacturing and commercial operations with immediate effect. So this means that every single person with a Sonovo patch pump will need to either switch to an alternative insulin therapy, so pens or syringes, or switch to another pump. In a statement, Sonovo said the commercial team will now be working closely with partners and distributors to ensure as smooth a transition as possible for patients and their healthcare teams. This is really sad. Now, if you use Sonovo, please do not panic. Even though they stopped the production, they still have sufficient stock to make sure you won't run out of supplies in the transition period. Now, this is still an ongoing breaking news story. So they announced that they went into an administration on the 26th of March. Just two days later, on the 28th of March, they announced that they stopped all of the commercial operations and stopped all of the production. So this is still an ongoing breaking news story. So far, Australian Sonovo distributors stated that uh, they believe there is sufficient stock to support existing Australian patients for two months. If you use Sonovo, you should speak to your healthcare professional as soon as possible to explore all possible options. Now, if I can just add something here, I think it's obviously incredibly sad. And if you are affected by this news, I really hope it all works out well and speak to your healthcare professional as soon as you can to make sure that your transition is as seamless as possible. Also, I think it is relatively unprecedented to have a situation like this where everyone is essentially forced to switch to a different pump or switch to alternative pump therapy like pens or syringes. And I think it will be relatively interesting to see how uh, healthcare systems will react to this, how private insurance companies will react to this, because if a patient chooses to, if you choose to switch to a new pump, then obviously someone will need to pay for a whole new pump. So it'll be interesting to see how that, whatever that transition is as smooth as they would like it to be. So bottom line, I think it's really sad to see Sonovo exit the pump market. I think this exit will be forever remembered as sell exit, hashtag sell exit. Over to some OneDrop news, OneDrop partnered with Amazon's Choice to expand health services offering. This basically means that Choice meters will work with OneDrop app and allow users to enroll to the OneDrop experts platform. If you want more information about this, please click the link in video description. Bigfoot News, Bigfoot announced names for their pen and pump system, Bigfoot Autonomy for the pump product and Bigfoot Unity for the connected pen version, which is planned for launch in 2020 and the pump version to follow after that. Now, so Eversense News, Eversense has just launched Eversense Bridge. It is a new patient access program for $99. With this new program, you can try the new long-term implantable CGM for just $99. This offer is just for US. If you want more information and some details, please click the link in the video description. Now, some epic news, Libre Link Up app has just been launched in the US. A Libre Link Up app 
It allows you to share your glucose information and your glucose trend with your friends and family. So when you scan your Freestyle Libre sensor, it appears on their phone as well. To find out more information about Libre Link Up, um, check the link in the video description. Lastly, EO Flow Pump. They received this special device designation from FDA. Not a lot of information available about this pump, but it basically looks like US may soon have a new tubeless pump. Now, so that's it in terms of diabetes technology updates. Now, I just want to give you a quick update on my ATTD vlog. But I am going through my footage and it's calm and nicely. Also, with my monthly reports, I have this kind of workflow, you know, I know what I'm doing. But with vlogs, I try to make it different and I try to make each vlog better than the previous one. And it takes time, but it's slow cooking. Um, but I'm going to have a great opportunity to do some substantial work on it because I'm going to London. Well, when you watch this, I'm going to be already in London for TAD, which is Talk About Diabetes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'm going to be on the train for two hours. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm excited to be there, but also I'm excited to be on the train. Um, if you don't know, I'm a bit of a train spotter and I love trains. You know this about if you follow me on, inst on, on Instagram. You really need to follow me on Instagram. You are, if, you, if you're not following me on Instagram, you are missing on some quality content of, you know, pictures of train. And sugar-free lattes next to trains. Some quality stuff guys okay cool thanks so much for watching and um see you soon hope you're doing well